Cider AI Tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about an incredible AI that has revolutionized today's world. Okay, and this AI is called Cider. It uses GPT-4, and it's one of the greatest AI assistants out there that you can use for yourself right now totally for free. So to start things off, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to Cider.ai. Okay, this is the website that you can find it on. Now, here we have Cider, ChatGPT sidebar with ChatGPT 4.0 now, which is the newer version of GPT. Now we can see that it assists in reading and writing on any web page, support chat links, images, PDFs, GPTs, and integrates GPT 3.5 and 4.0 with Claude 3 and Gemini 1.5 Flash Pro. And one more thing, which is pretty eye-catching, is it's free to use, okay? So to use this for yourself what we're going to do is we're going to download it okay and it's not a download uh, like an application okay you can download it as an extension okay if you don't know what an extension is an extension is the applications that you can get on the top right side over here and use it for your browser specifically so to download it we're going to go over to the download section and we're going to click on chrome so basically it takes us to the Chrome web store where we can download it. Now, leaving all of that behind while this downloads, let's go ahead and get a look at at the features. Okay. So the features that you get are text to image, background remover, remove brushed area, replace background, remove text, upscale, writing, reading. And then you have more things like getting chats, group AIs, getting chat images, and a whole lot more. So how incredible is that? So pretty great and pretty fun features to have. Now over here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating an account for ourselves because Cider does require an account to start using it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the sign up section and we're going to sign in with any of the Gmail accounts that we have. So I'm simply going to click on continue. And once we click on continue, let's just wait for it to load in. And here we are. So now it's going to tell us how we're supposed to use it. So in my case, it's going to be right here. So I'm going to pin it right to my taskbar like this. So to start using Cider, what we're going to do is let's say we're on a random tab here. I'm going to open this up. Okay. And it's going to open the GPT section up. Now we can actually switch the GPT to GPT 4.0. And you can type any message that you want. So let's say uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask it something from physics so i want to go ahead and ask it i'm going to ask it that simple question and it's going to start giving us the advanced text now gpt 4.0 does need an upgrade to unlock this text query so you can stay in turbo and ask your question so let's say i'm going to just ask the last law over here and look at that it starts giving us the necessary messages now moving on you can also use these ones over here to create different things for yourself it all depends on your use you can also ask it to create your image so create me an image of a german shepherd riding a bike so you know write something like that now you can use gpt 4.0 to do that but obviously you are going to need to upgrade now you can also actually go ahead and write things for yourself so let's say I'm going to write some, uh, I want to write a marketing ad. The tone can be, let's say, enthusiastic. And we're going to keep it long. So let's write the topic I want to compose. So I want to write about, we're going to give it that. And let's go ahead and generate a draft. And there you go. It gives us a whole marketing ad over here. How incredible is that? So you can go ahead and use cider to its full capabilities more like this by let's say i want to translate something so you can translate some text let's say i want to translate it from english to something so i my name is john and i would like to invite you for dinner let's say i want to go ahead and translate this so look at that it creates a translation and you can also listen to it so just click on that and once we do this, it will actually go ahead and give us an audio of this. Now you can also customize everything. So let's say I want expanded text. Let's say I want it formal. 
and let's go ahead to creative adaptation and complexity let's go with expert and i want to change it from this language to let's say french okay, i'm going to submit this again and there we go so it changes from english to french just like that now moving on you can also search okay so search anything for yourself so let's say i want to write just like that so once you search this up it's going to give you all the answers it's going to analyze different search results from different websites it's going to go to different articles and reviews and look at that it starts giving you all these different types of answers so pretty incredible and it actually goes ahead and explains it to you in a lot of detail which is pretty incredible now once this is done you can also go into different things like ocr we have grammar you can ask it different questions from the ask section. And the fun part is that you can actually paint stuff. So let's say I wanna paint some specific thing, like let's go ahead, create me a German shepherd wearing sunglasses and riding a bike. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click on generate. And once you click on generate, it's going to start loading in. So let's wait for it to create our design and let's see how it looks. Now, look at this. How incredible is that? It has created a design for us out of the prompt that we've given sunglasses, bike, German Shepherd, everything. Now you can actually change the style of this. So right now, as you can see, it's pretty cartoonish. So I don't want cartoon. I want to go ahead and give it, let's say, let's go ahead with anime. I want to give it an anime look, right? So image count, you can, you know, create several images as well. So let's say I only want to create one. I don't want to, you know, go overboard with the prompt or anything. So I'm going to copy this prompt again, paste it down over here and generate again. So as we can see, it starts generating the prompt once again. And once the prompt is fully done, let's go ahead and actually see what kind of look it gives us. Okay. So this time we've chosen anime and look at that. Now, obviously it has its flaws as you can clearly see, but still pretty incredible and pretty cool. Now, this is the basic idea of Cider and you can actually use Cider with different websites of uh, yourself. So let's say I wanna go to YouTube and once you're in YouTube, you can open it up on the right hand side as a, you could say sidebar, just like this. And you could go ahead and search up where can I find the Master Chef video on this page. So you can write that. Now, ChatGPT 3.5 might not have this, but you can go ahead to ChatGPT 4.0 and it's going to give you all the things that you have in this page. Now, you can also summarize a page, okay? So as we can see, we have different YouTube viewings and we can go ahead and ask it to summarize everything for us, you know, just like this. So pretty incredible stuff that you can actually go ahead and mess around with the features and viewings of different pages as well as a separate opener for you. So yeah, this is Cider AI. And as you can see, the capabilities that it gives us with its features are pretty incredible. And it's all for free, which is the most incredible part about it all. So definitely I would urge users to start using Cider for themselves because it makes life so much easier and it's a great helper for all of you workers and all of you students out there. So this was Cider AI. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. And also do let me know what do you think about Cider AI? Do you think it's better than ChatGPT? And if not, do you think it's actually a good software to use for yourself? So that's pretty much about it. That is all from me, and I will see all of you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.